Okay, I've just crossed a little road coming from a stile over there from the field where cows are hanging about but they're right up the top. I've come through this little gap in the fence into this beautiful little sunny glade with the stream. Now who's to say this isn't the river axe at source which is coming down from the top there where I was earlier right on in that sheep field but right at the top. I used to say, if not, is it probably joins, it probably goes to it though. It's probably one, one of the tributaries. Yeah, I've, like I said, I've been over here before, explored all this in the past. And now I'm, I can feel a bit relaxed. The cows have um, been taken in to be milked. I should really not hang about too long though, because once they start coming out, they come out quickly. I don't know how long it takes to milk a cow. Um, ten minutes each cow? A quarter of an hour? I, don't got, I haven't got a clue actually. I'll have to look it up, I think. So there's that lovely little precious little glade there. With the sound of the babbling brook. And then we've got to do a little bit of climbing on the little pathway. Going by these tall trees and across a muddy sort of muddy area it was probably a stream once uh, and up there's the field where all the cows were some of them running because don't forget when they're milked they also get rewards they get a nice big juicy bunch of hay to eat um, so and they all went with the farmer didn't they three dogs They look like ginger and white dogs. They could have been some sort of collie. So anyway, here we go. I haven't... I can't remember the last time I came, but it could have been a year ago. I really don't know without looking in the video diary. Well, that was easy to climb. Didn't have to do any jumping of any ditches there. Oh, there's still barbed wire on that bit, though. But it looks like someone's made a effort just to clear this bit of barbed wire to get over this bit here. There we are. There's a house, a house in there. And we've got to go up here. There's another stile. And I would have thought he's taken all the cows. It was such a big herd. Two to three hundred cows, I'd say easily. <sighs> that are being milked and they will be out again. Giving us time to get across that field. <sighs> Up this muddy bank. <sighs> over that stile where it be in the field. <sighs> then we should be able to look over to that farm. <sighs> and see... <sighs> there's any sign of them being let out yet. Here we are, it's the style. Oh God, it gets more complicated. Put that up there, Sheila. That's it, put that there. Or you get up with both hands. They don't seem to gather around this bit, do they? Like I say, they might not be able to get in that field, but I'm sure I've seen some when I was up Longwood the other week and I looked over the fence. <sighs> Ginberries. Slows. Right, I, this is where I remember them, but the, the gate might be shut. They might not have been in here, but there is a water hole there. Bird there. Is that a bird? Yeah, some sort of bird, isn't it? Having a drink while he can. And there's the edge of the area of outstanding beauty. 
and I've walked right round like this. Now going right back, but through the wood. Now when we get up here we'll be able to see if those cows if those cows were in this field. Yeah. Look at that pack there. What we do, we're, instead of going straight across, we'll go up then we can see. Because once we go down there, we won't be able to see over to that farm. But yeah, look, they were here. They were here. I know there's this thing about me with cows, but... Every time someone's killed, which was only a week ago, not here, but it brings it all back. I mean, for a while, I won't really mention much about cows. But it brings it back. I would have thought he'd brought them all in. Look at that lovely view, everyone. I was right up there earlier. Right over there. Yeah, now we see if, if they hadn't gone in, well, they were coming back out. I'd have trouble getting across here. Uh, what I'd have to do, there is another way. Go in by the waterworks and you squeeze in over there. It's a bit of a tight squeeze and it's probably all overgrown, but uh, that's one way around it. Look at that. You wonder if they leave the ball behind, see? Um, yeah, I've got very good long sight. I picked up that herd from quite a distance. I was right up there. I was right up there when I picked the herd up. And then I, they, more and more of them came. But this is their field. This is where they've been taken. They've been taken across there to the farm and they will be let out again. There's a stile up there which you can walk across the field without going through the wood if you want. But I do like going through the wood actually. I actually like going through the wood. But in a minute, those cows, there's a gate over there, probably left open and they'll be coming back. They might even be up in that field. It could be two field loads he's picked up to go and be milked. I'll look it up, the farm, how far it is from Longwood when I get home, on the map. <sighs> yeah, I know they were in that field. I'd never seen cows in that field before, actually. Farmers are rotating their cows about. That's definite. That's definite. Well, I'm pleased we got back, because we got all that cow pack. The entrance to the woods just down here, but I've deliberately come up higher. Yeah, the gate's left open. Up. He's taking them straight across. They won't be long before they're out. By the way, they'll come back out again. It's like up there, there's a big herd. From another field I just came down, there was fresh cow pack there. And that lot have moved up there. That's a big herd. And that's probably the farmhouse over there, look, where the cows have been taken to be milked. They I've written they've been in this field long. It's still quite quite long, the grass. But uh, this is this is where they've been. Look at it. Plastered with cow pack. That was a good move. Now, if I'd come down here two hours' time, they'd probably all be back down here. Yeah, they'll be back down here. See? So, they've gone down, they've gone over there anyway. They're not in there, they've been taken out both fields. I'm going to turn off now, everyone, just take some photos of this beautiful scenery. All around me is beauty all around me. I've had a lovely walk. Beautiful walk. <sighs> Over and out. Right then, leaving the cow field. 
camera went off for some reason, I've got no idea. It's got a, another battery in it earlier. Over the stile then, to Long Wood. And we're going back through Long Sheepfield, by the way. The sheep weren't in there last week. I wondered where they'd gone, but they could have easily been in another field, letting that field recover. Right, so here we have Longwood. And I usually come down here in the spring from this entrance to see the wild garlic and the bluebells because it's magnificent, by the way. Uh, this is it in autumn. So it's six months later. And I never got, because of the COVID outbreak and because of the no buses available. I wasn't able to come out here this year. Um, obviously I could have cycled if I thought more deeply about it. I wasn't able to come out. But it didn't matter to miss a year actually. Um, but I'm here in autumn. And actually even though the trees were looking very dead. Skirting round the wood. It looks quite protected inside the wood. The leaves are looking quite good here. It makes you wonder, there's this wall all built up here. It makes you wonder what all this was here. You know? Oh, there's somebody coming. Wait a minute, just turn off. Let's just let somebody by. Look at this lovely moss growing on here, look. Beautiful, isn't it? A carpet. Oh, it's magical, this place. It really is. Like I said, I have um, don't think I've videoed it autumn for a while. So it's quite a good thing to be able to come out and do it on this beautiful day. I mean, look at that lovely... Look at all the green here. So like I was saying, on the outside of the wood looks quite brown and dead and but this is beautiful beautiful within look all the greens the mossy walls yes a beautiful scene everyone I've just met a nice couple they've just I just told them they were lucky the cows have all gone <laughs> about 400 cows but look at these walls. I'd like to find out a bit more about this place. I mean, the walls are fantastic. With a deep, thick, like a carpet of moss. Look at it. And over there, the, the structure of a wall going all the way around. <sighs> Very substantial wall, I would have thought. Could it be a boundary. It's on the other side as well, so this was of significance, and it goes over there as well. Sometimes you can see, you notice things, but more times you come, you, more things stick out at you. But it does smell very bleachy, what I call bleachy. It's a very strange smell. Of course, all the fungi are about soon as well. Yeah, I wanted to come through Longwood. It's a magical place. I didn't I didn't come in it the other day, but the weather was awful. And this was the walk I wanted to do where Longwood was to be included. Longwood would be included in the walk, and it has been. And it is. There's a lot of history here. A lot of mystery and we're coming down to a troll bridge in a minute. It's all been videoed before, like I said, the glorious intoxicating spring array of bluebells and wild garlic is absolutely magnificent. Um, and this is magnificent. I'm so pleased that I did come in the wood now to see this greenery because I was quite worried about Longwood. From the outside it looked Quite deceiving, to be quite honest. Very deceiving. Oh, I think someone's bit me on the arm. I can hear the stream as well. 
Another tribute trail. Could be the same one that we met earlier. Yes, I reckon it is. It curls around where we met the stream earlier when we after crossing the road into that little glade. I reckon this goes down to Cheddar. Could be the source of the River Axe, honestly. Can you imagine that if you're over Western Supermare and you see that big river where the boats come in and out and here is its birthplace. It's possible, I'm going to look it up. It must contribute to the Cheddar Water anyway. So it's going that way. It's going that way. And it, I think it runs down. <sighs> it, it, it will do, and it's a lot fuller than it was when I came the other week, uh, other month. So I have been here. I've stood on this bridge. I don't know how long ago, a couple of months ago. And, um, that was a very hot day. So it's good to see the, the water. Just going to turn off and take a picture.